What's up guys and welcome back to Broken Age on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode we played as Shay, but the last time we played as Vela, we actually um, explore, explored some of this area that we crash landed into. There's a lot that we have to do it seems like, you know, we can still go back up to the cloud area, we can discover this new town, which is, whoa. Oh, I love the scenery. Is that like whipped cream covered mountains in the background? That sounds delicious. You can see the whole Maiden's Feast area from up here. Ah, wait, is that it down here? Or is it these mountain platforms? I'm not sure. Let's talk to some people. Maybe we can figure it out. Stranger approaches. Ooh. Not so fast. Oh, okay, I surrender. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. <laughs> Use the staff. Oh, yeah. Halt. For the dead eye god sees no one. Oh, my. Can't we just talk? Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. Hello. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. I actually didn't, but uh, who is that? Who's the Dead Eye God? The Messiah from the Sky. Bringer Ooh. of miracle objects. Ah. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgental. Hmm. Okay, but what happened to your sight? Yeah, let's ask this question. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. oh. If the Dead Eye God has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Then how did, I guess they could hear us approaching? Which means if we can be quiet, we can probably get past them. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. Well, it was but a compliment. no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless... What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. No problem. Hmm. Okay, so now we have some options on if we do this riddle or if we sneak by them, I guess. <laughs> um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Like, like a fish or something? I'm not sure. Hmm, that seems like, I don't know, that could be anything. I'm not much of a riddleist, so I don't think that's gonna help me too much. What's the Battle of Volgental? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm, sounds promising. Hmm, <laughs> I guess she looks forward to it. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Something to read? <laughs> We're Blind. Oh, how is she not getting that? Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Ooh. Probably. <laughs> I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Hmm. So if well, maybe we can go in and find out. Um, it looks like we can't talk Bye. to them too much more, though. <laughs> Sense you later. <laughs> Sense us later. Let's look at our inventory, because I'm not really sure too much what's in here. Can I, like... It does have feet on the bottom, but they're too big for these little cloud shoes. Okay, maybe I can slip these on again? And let's see if I can't slip by now. Oh, nope, oh, I thought maybe it would, like, quiet my steps. No Alright. <laughs> okay, not quite. Let's see if... How can I take these off, then? Um... Can I take them off? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I maybe they're stuck on now. Who knows? Either way, let's uh, go back because there's nothing we can really do here. They're not letting us by, at least for now. Hmm. 
So now I think there was a opposite path going off, you know, the different way beyond the talking trees. So maybe we should give that a shot. We haven't really gained too much from this area besides just conversations and information that way. But we haven't, you know, received any items or anything. So we still have a lot to work on. I feel like, you know, our progression through the story is definitely slowing down at this point. But um, let's go off this way. Oh no, not, not so fast, not so fast. Because we want to go this way now, right? Uh, can we go this way? Yeah, we can, okay, let's go. And then what's gonna be over here? Apparently a giant man-eating snake or something similar? Wait, is this east or west? I'm not sure. Oh, oh, hey, hi, hi, how are you? Hey, uh, let go. Can't... Oh no, we're gonna get, we're gonna get oh, destroyed, no, <laughs> we can't breathe no more. Uh, ladder. Oh, let's do this. Uh, Blow on it, blow on it before- Oh, you probably can't breathe though. This might not work. Use the last of their breath to blow on the trumpet! Ooh, ooh, he didn't like that. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Oh, now he's taking that out. Mm. <laughs> Does he like the sound? Okay, That's interesting. so do not go that way. Got it. Hmm. So, I guess we- Like, if I scoop by one more time. Yeah, there's not too much to gain. But I really want to see what that sign says. I guess I'll have to find out some other time. Well, our last option now is to, you know, talk to some of the characters we've already talked to, and then to, uh, go back up to the cloud area and see if there's anything cool there. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll start checking up on the cloud people and see if there's anything cool going on. Maybe they have wreaked havoc now that uh, we have destroyed some of their town because <laughs> everybody can leave now. Um, like, the people who want to leave can leave pretty freely now. Um, who was it, Magdalene, I think it was, or Maggie? Something like that. She could leave if she wanted to. So maybe we did them all a, uh... A generous offering. Let's talk to you, though. Uh, well, I'll see you two later. Oh. Farewell. Okay. Stick to the paths. I, I didn't. I didn't even get the option to talk to you. You just wanted to immediately ignore me. Fine. I, I'm gonna go talk to Maggie then, and maybe she'll be of something of worth. If not, then I guess. I guess there's not much to do here. Hmm. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Well, I'll leave you alone. No, it just instantly <laughs> cuts out the conversation. Okay. okay, I gotta find out what we gotta do then. So I can hear Mr. Man talking up there, but there's no way I can get up there. <laughs> oh well, I guess there's nothing we can do about him. I don't see how we could. I just, we gotta start talking to some of the people we've already talked to, you know, now that we've gathered information maybe about this, this fish eye god or whatever. Maybe we can just find some more information out. I'm not really sure. We haven't talked to him since we talked to the trees either. Maybe all these people just have newfound information hey. that they could give hey, us. Bella. Hmm. Do you know what rises from a rotten bed? No. But it sounds like one of those fruity riddles my ex-girlfriend Becky was into. Man, I do not miss her. Hmm. Becky could actually be a help. Where, where is she? Hey. About this art. Yeah? Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. God, he, he just doesn't like giving a lot of information when we ask him questions. What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. What does that mean? Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. <laughs> Please? Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. Oh, we tried to get all hipster with them, but it didn't work. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Ooh, we out hipstered him. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> it's mine. Where are the trees? I will. After I take your beautiful art that I just okay, scammed you for. Yeah, taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age too. <laughs> but before I was your age was being cool. Okay, then let's see. Uh What's this supposed to be? A little man with a bad haircut? I guess at first glance one might see it that way. Hmm. 
So now we have something else that we can use on different items. <laughs> it said that it had some weird thing when you look between sight and lens or something similar to that. What happens if we use this with it since it sort of fits that I little hole? I don't think this art needs a crystal element. Hmm. Okay. Never mind then. What about this? Uh, is there anything over here of interest? Not really. Doesn't really let me walk over there. Okay, then maybe I should just start using this on people. I don't know. It's like I said, the gameplay for Veil of Story is starting to slow down a lot. I don't really know what to do at this point onward. So we just gotta keep messing with stuff and see what we can end up doing. Hmm. Maybe Mr. Tree can help us. Mr. Tree, how are you? Take this. I've got some art that might make you sick. Is it made of wood? Actually, I've never seen this material before. Then I doubt it would make me as sick as the horrors made by your lumberjack friend. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. Keep moving on. So let's go... You know, as a last resort, before we go and talk to anybody else, I'm gonna go and talk to, um... What's their names? The people we just met at the beginning of the episode. Those god protectors. The shrine protectors, more like. And see, you know, whatever they have to say. This town is very small. I feel like we're not engulfing as much town as we could possibly. We're missing out on a lot, which is sort of lame. I would like to see more of the town. Let's, uh, give this a shot. Maybe it's like, here's your item. This solves the I riddle. Have a piece of art here that is the solution to your riddle. Does it have a pit? Or children? Not really. Okay, I retract my statement. What if I just say yes? Maybe, maybe then it will... Here, take these. The solution to your riddle is... Cloud shoes. We don't even know what those are. But, no. But, like, if we just said yes to that question, would we have gotten it right? This pretty window is the solution to the riddle? Are you asking me or telling me? Telling you? Or are we? Okay, we seem to struggle to make too much progress this episode, but we did meet some, you know, interesting people and done some interesting things and seen some interesting things! So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and share it with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time, bye-bye.